Another day, another video about dabs. Live resin versus cured resin. What's better? What do you prefer? And what are the differences? So two of the main categories for dabs are live resins versus cured resins, meaning that the cured one, when they harvested the plant, they dried and cured it like normally, and then they did the extraction. Whereas a live resin, they harvest the plant and they flash freeze it with liquid nitrogen, and they extract it at cold temps while it's still frozen. What this does is they're freezing all of the terpene. They're freezing the whole plant so as to not lose any moisture as to not lose any terpenes. They're freezing it in its current state so they can extract it as it was the moment they chopped it down. Whereas a cured resin, you're going to dry it out for a few days, cure it for a few weeks. And then when your bud is like a ready smokable product, that's when you extract it. So a lot of stuff ends up being cured resin just because most marijuana, most cannabis plants are dried and cured and then processed. But more and more people are doing live extracts. More and more people enjoy live extracts. And there's a lot of good reasons why. So one of the first things to know is that a live extract will typically have a stronger smell. The terpenes are fresher and it can have higher terpene levels but it usually has higher levels of monoterpenes. You see, when you cure the plant, when you dry and cure the cannabis plant, you're losing moisture over time, but you're also changing the molecular makeup. So while you're drying the plant, you're losing some moisture, but you're also degrading some of the terpenes in there. And you sometimes get higher levels of other terpenes called sesquiterpenes. So in a lot of cases, a cured flower or a cured resin can have a more complex terpene profile. You have more terpenes present. So for some people, and I've experienced this, cured resins can have a more complex flavor. I'm not saying that it's a better flavor or a stronger flavor. Usually live resins have a really strong flavor, really strong smell, but a cured resin can have a more complex flavor. I feel like a lot of live resins can end up having a similar taste. And I think this is due to the high levels of monoterpenes. I'm not saying it's a bad flavor, but sometimes a few different strains, a few different options hit similarly. They have that same sweetness to them, that same taste on your tongue when you exhale. So not necessarily a bad thing. I do like live resins. They're usually lighter in color. They usually smell stronger. They usually have a stronger taste. So some people perceive that as it tasting better. But stronger taste doesn't always mean it's better. If you like more complex flavors, you might like cured resins better. So I think right now it might depend on where you're at, but I'm seeing live resin more and more often. I'm seeing the price come down on it in general. I think you need more lab equipment, obviously, because you have to flash freeze it when it's harvested. The quicker you can process and sell it, I would assume the more money you can make. So some places like the harvest their plants a few days early so the color comes out a little lighter they might start sticking with the quicker extraction process so they can get you the dabs quicker and pump out more now for these i am talking about resin so this is hydrocarbon extraction i'm not talking about live rosin that's a completely different story or a different video you're using a different extraction method but for cured resins and live resins you can literally use the same hydrocarbon extraction method of bho or pho it's just the starting material that you're using that changes one of them is a dried and cured plant with a lot less moisture and one of them is a fresh plant that's frozen with all of the moisture in it. But you can end up running them the same. Just the end product is going to be different because the starting material was different. So I might want an extractor's opinion on this, but I think ultimately the live resin ends up being easier because you're replacing the drying and curing process with a flash freezing process. I've never flash froze anything, but I would assume it's easier. You just need more equipment. Now, I don't think you can really do live resin like at home. You're not just going to chop your plants down and stick them in the freezer and get the same results as somebody in a lab who's flash freezing with liquid nitrogen. But it is interesting to think about. I like live resin. I think I'm seeing more live resins and cured resins now in Florida. When I was in Colorado, there was more and more live resins popping up. And some places just flat out didn't sell cured resins anymore. They usually look better, smell better. They have a better appeal overall. So for some people, that just makes them better, even if they might not have those complex flavors like you could find in cured resins. Honestly, there's not too many cured resins I've hit where I was like, wow, this flavor is really different. This is really nice. But there are definitely some. This video idea was pitched on one of my Twitch streams. If you don't smoke with me on Twitch, I go live after 9 p.m. Eastern almost every night for a smoke sesh. And if you missed my videos on the best consistencies of concentrates, check out my tier list here. I break down all the different consistencies. Peace out, my dudes.